general entertainment channel with a 20-year legacy, and Marriott International, the largest hospitality chain in the world, have come together to bring alive the drama of food, with a promise to not only entertain, but also inspire the foodie in you. For the first time in India, a unique cook-off format has been created where professional chefs come together and compete with one another. Four of Marriott International's best chefs battle it out in the kitchen, and only one will emerge on top. Without further ado, I would now like to invite Marriott International's Area Vice President for South Asia, Mr. Neeraj Govil, to come on stage and tell us more about this collaboration. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, uh, thank you for joining us here today. In my current role, I, as head of operations here for Marriott in South Asia, I have a number of guests, as you would imagine, who write to me every single week talking about their hotel stays. And you'll be surprised to know that an overwhelming percentage, 95% and above, actually talk about uh, their food and beverage experience at our hotels. Uh, a great chef walking out there, uh, presenting good, honest food, can certainly touch a chord in, in the heart of many guests. And you'll find that a large proportion of our guests will always remember who the chef was at the hotel they stayed in. We are a nation of food lovers, and food and beverage is an integral component of what we do in hospitality here in India. At Marriott here in India, at our, at our 100 plus hotels, uh, we operate close to 300 restaurants and bars. So we're a big uh, restaurant company as well. Earlier this year, Marriott launched its food and beverage program for 2018, which was called Taste Nirvana. At Marriott, we believe that our chefs are artists skilled at curating gastronomic delights for our customers. And we created a cinematic film earlier in the year, which was called Khane Me Kya Hai, and it was a tribute to our artisans, our executive chefs. Marriott International will be the presenting partner for the much-awaited Top Chef Season 14, which is scheduled to air on AXN later this month. The association will premiere with the ultimate Marriott International Cook-Off Challenge, a show where four of our executive chefs, handpicked from our hotels across India, will compete and will be challenged to create dishes that score on proficiency, versatility, and creativity. This is scheduled to air on the 12th of October. AXN is India's leading entertainment channel, reaching a massive viewership base, and this huge platform will provide us with a precise captive audience to reach out with our messaging. Our goal is really simple, ladies and gentlemen. We want to make sure that we embrace innovative mediums in getting our message out. We want to be market leaders in food and beverage in this country, and we want to lead with our artists, our chefs at our hotels. Thank you very much. Thank you, Komal. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you know, AXN has been at the forefront of initiative uh, and innovation, along with energy for the last 20 years, not only in India, but globally. And it's one of the leaders in the English entertainment category. I'm therefore delighted to announce one such initiative today. Over a month back, inspired by people's love for food, AXN and Merit International decided to come together and bring alive the drama of food through a unique cook-off show on AXN. Today we are here to announce the show and showcase the drama of food real time. I'm sure you'll love it just as we've loved making it. Do have a look. Very artist. Three expert judges will challenge four Marriott International chefs for the biggest cook-off challenge. Who will showcase his best talent on a platter? Something really, really special. On AXN Ultimate Cook-Off, the Marriott International Challenge. Premieres 12th October, Friday, 9 p.m. on AXN HD.
please welcome her with a huge round of applause. Guys. And now, can we have the logo reveal? Shahad Nehra Chitanga, please do the honor. Chitranga, tell us about your association with this unique show. Uh, well, hi, everyone. And um, my association with the show, yeah, this is, this is definitely, I mean, this is the first time I have done television before, but this is my first association with, uh, with an English GDC and especially AXN. And uh, I, not that I'm standing here and I'm having to say it, but really I've been a fan of the kind of programs that AXN puts together and the content and the quality of, uh, of the kind of programs that they put up. So yeah, when I think, uh, when we think of AXN, we're already very sure of the quality of the content. So when this cooking show, when this cook off and the idea came to me, I really was uh, very excited because I knew, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a Top Chef fan. So yes, like all girls, we all watch in our heads for a while. We are all chefs. <laughs> so the whole idea is just so amazing. It's something so romantic about the way they, they cook and the way they, they present food. So to be part of something which was looking to do a similar uh, kind of cooking and that, that standard of cooking, I was very excited. And the fact that they wanted me to be a judge on the show um, was a was a little bit uh, of a, how do I say, I, I thought I was being flattered because I don't consider myself such an amazing cook to sit and really um, judge chefs who already are the best at what they do. But then I was told that I was coming on board as, as one of us, you know, people who go to a restaurant or, or go somewhere and, and, and um, enjoy eating different kind of foods and different cuisines and experimenting and, uh, and appreciate from that point of view. So yeah, I think with all the experience that I've had with the travels and, um, and experimenting with food, whether I was in Japan, Korea, Taiwan, uh, I have traveled quite a bit actually. I've had I've been very fortunate, or Europe, or, or uh, South Africa, and South America. So I think from all those travels and having tried cuisines and, and experimented with food, I definitely had a different take than, than the other experts who were on the panel. But yeah, I think I was like any other audience, you know, who would watch this show and have questions on how it tastes and why does it taste like this and is, why is the sauce so thick and I don't understand the combination of why it needs to be crunchy. All those 20,000 questions and I think any woman who's watching a, a cookery show will have is what I was supposed to do. <laughs> so in a way, the job was kind of easy, but it was so much fun. And uh, yeah, I think the fact that they, they were the best chefs that we have in the country and it was a cook-off between them. That excitement was definitely um, always there in, in, in the back of my mind to see how they function, how they work, um, you know, how it's an art and it's, it's, it's so easy for them. The ease with which they come up with things, it's, it's amazing to actually witness it. So I'm so happy that we did this. Thank you so much for having me. I've spoken enough <laughs> and I hope people now come in and watch the show. So. Um, I'm pretty sure we have our own top chef in the making here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Chitanga, for your lovely words. And I'm sure I have to say this. All of us are equally excited and thrilled about this one. I request you all to please take a seat. Yes, I can. So. As they say, what you become in your life. Now, can we have the second AV, please?
Thank you, photographers. I request on Indian television. Today, we will have you, the audience, don on the chef hats. You are going to be the contestants and experience the tension of a cook-off. So let's, let me explain how this will work. Each one of you has been assigned a badge with a number on it, one, two, and three. The number symbolizes the team that you're part of. Each team will be preparing Chitrangda's favorite dish. The cooking stations you see to your left is where the cooking will happen. And our chefs will be here to guide you through it. You will have 20 exclusive meal vouchers from JW Marriott Juhu. So let the cook-off begin. Judges, uh, please, I request you to move to the respective stations. Audience request you to please move to your stations as per the numbers assigned to you on the badge. अरे तीनों दया साला सरकार ना थोड़ा Honestly, yes. When I was in college, I was trying to lose weight and I went for a diet. I was only having popcorn, salad and chana. Honestly. And you will not believe one day. So I used to play basketball. So I fainted on the basketball court. So that's when I got to know my hemoglobin had dropped and how bad it is to diet like this. It's very important to have a balanced diet. It's not doing crash diets and all of it. Not so good, and I think it's a very bad idea for, for people to try and do that. Very healthy, very carbohydrates, but it's very for energy, especially growing, you know, kids and everything. Sorry, I'm sounding like a whole teacher now. <laughs> you have a 24 year old son? <laughs> What do you eat? Actually, that's the question. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to walk a lot now. I'm sure there's something else. 
With a poached egg and greens. Should I break your heart now? <laughs> okay, you want to go first? He's the expert. So I think uh, uh, so. The dish is basically uh, uh, sauteed asparagus uh, with poached eggs, uh, some 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 lettuce leaves, uh, and uh, the hollandaise. Uh, overall, the preparation is very nice. Uh, nice, good. Uh, you know, the entire leaves are properly sauteed. Everything is edible in the entire plate. Uh, nothing is uh, done. You know, which is not required. The post deck you cook very well. Uh, good flavor overall. I think it's a very, very good dish. Thank you. What's the flavor in this entire preparation? Just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who do you write for? <laughs> <laughs> No, listen, this, it's very nice. I, my only, I mean, he's absolutely right. Everything is perfect. The salt, pepper, everything is perfect. I just, I don't know why. I have a thing for white plates. When I'm, when I'm having salad, I feel like it just always looks fresher. So when you're plating something, which has got a lot of greens and all, it's always somehow nicer. That's the only thing, if I had to say that. But yeah, he's right. I think everything on the plate can be eaten and it's, it's, it's done perfectly, though I would prefer my asparagus to be a little more crunchy. <laughs> but other than that, I think you did absolutely well. Thank you. Very well done. Okay, time for team two. That's you. Hello. Yeah, this, this is a lady who walks 14 kilometers every day. <laughs> you have to see, that's the reason why she looks like this. And she has a 24-year-old son. <laughs> I'm an artist who has completed more than 100 exhibitions. So somehow my plates of uh, food also are somehow, uh, they see design in the food that I make. I have to be presentable right. in the food that, uh, on the asserted um, asparagus and everything. All my team have helped me a lot now in making this plate. How do you cook the mushrooms? The mushrooms, I first cut them uh, very small and then uh, fried it on very low uh, temperature and a bit of very uh, low oil. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Who helped you? Who's your Yeah, he's a wonderful person who really helped us. I'm sure half easy to I'm so sorry for being an artist here. <laughs>
Sonali. Yes, sir. Asparagus could have been blanched a little better. Uh -huh. It's not salted at all. So we had this, you're missing the flavors in this, in, the, in, in asparagus. Uh, this little flower is doing what I can understand. Uh, design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going at the garnish as well. Uh, of course, the seasoning is not balanced because uh, you focus more on the presentation. No, sir, we cooked before that. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't yeah. you can't uh, fault her on how pretty it looked, uh, but I definitely think that the food should not be uh, uh, so ornate on the plate. <laughs> we can reduce the designing, but I, uh, yeah, मुझे भी थोड़ा कच्चा लगा. I thought we could have sorted the asparagus as well. Mm -hmm. It felt a bit raw, but it's nice. It's good. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And yeah, now, well. team three stone. So let's be candid, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation only. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little less. Okay. I like how that burnt taste on the mushroom. You can really have the yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, we, the uh, flavor is. Yeah, we kind of glazed it as well. Yeah. So we, uh, we wanted the ah. goldenish brown the crunch to come in with the with the gun you have done. Right? Yeah. I could see that with the, with the gun. We used the blow torch. It yeah, we torched yeah. the sauce. So that's that's very interesting. You know, I mean, it already looked so good. You didn't need the flour at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something against flowers on, on plates. Give it to somebody. <laughs> so, uh, overall, the dish is nice uh, because it's very difficult to pull out flavor in the entire preparation because you're not eating any herbs and stuff in this. So, uh, we would love to thank our chef for yeah, helping us. While sauteing this stuff, you yeah. know. Make it more, you know, brown that the flavor comes out in the dish. Okay. Uh, of course, hollandaise a little extra. It's like a uh, little extra hollandaise in oh, this. Uh, but torching is, is is done. Okay. It's good very for two eggs. Plates. You could have done another egg with the same amount of sauce. Yeah. yeah very simple plate is only one thing which I would say it's uh, actually the preparation was a salad. Okay. And the leaves are less. It's more of a hadav, a kind of a you okay. know, first course which goes on a plate, but not as a salad. So this is nice preparation. But the salad part is, is you know, could have been more. Okay. Otherwise, thank you very much. A lot thank of you. good, good effort, good effort. Thank, thank you. you. So the judges have tasted all the dishes. Can we please have the table cleared from here? Somebody focus more on presentation. Somebody focus more on you know enhancing the flavor and stuff. But. Uh, I just want to say, you know, more than anything else, for all us ab absolute amateurs and, and wannabe chefs sitting at home, seeing you people cook and do things like this is, is such an amazing experience um, to, to be part of something like this. So the whole idea is actually to encourage people to try and make this an art, you know, whether you're plating your food to enjoy, to create every single day. I know how difficult it is. It's very, very difficult every single day. But once in a while, definitely, you know. So more than anything else, I think that's the one thing that I would take away from this, this show, that to create and, and to want to create something every day and enjoy it Actually, more than eating, yeah. <laughs> you know, creating it. <laughs> so, and of course, enjoy eating, but yeah. Right. Uh, it's very, very difficult to, you know, which one is better because see, I, I love eggs. I'm an vegetarian. <laughs> Eat loads of eggs a day. So, I mean, for me, all the dishes were, were great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the winner? Yeah. And the winner is. I don't know. the second, third they were writing for? Which publication was the second, third writing for? Okay, no, absolutely honest. I think the first dish was fantastic. Yeah, and that's the first the dish was fantastic. There you go. We have a winner. Yeah. Team one, can I team request one. the winning team to come on stage and team receive the prize? Thank you. Everyone, give them a huge round of applause. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Tushar Neera, I request you all also to please join us on the stage while they receive their prizes. Thank you. What's the name? Congratulations, everyone. Despite the black lace you won. Well done. Well done. Chef Vishal. I request the judges to please give away the prizes to the entire team. Thank you. Actually, let's take a picture like this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get more. Right at the front and start with the setup. <laughs> Soon after the cake cutting, Tushar, Neeraj, and Sitranga. We'll take questions from everyone. We have a delicious meal lined up for you right after, so I'm sure you'd enjoy that. We'll make sure you get those. Yeah, chef, you want to you wanna take that one? We'll have that organized for you. We'll have that organized. Yeah, we do have it in the menu. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I'll have to request everyone to please stand uh, during the Q&A. Any more? There we have one right at the back. Two, in fact. Uh, Chitrangda ji, aapke saamne. Hi. Aap se jaanna chahenge ki aapki favorite dish kya hai? And aap, jab bhi free hoti hai, to sab se jada kya khana pasand karti hai aap? Meri favorite dish, mujhe, matlab, Indian food ke alawa, apna kadi chawal meri sab se favorite hai. Rajma chawal, most favorite. Lekin otherwise, mujhe Thai food bhoot pasand hai. और अगर मैं अपने आप कुछ बनाने की कोशिश करती हूँ तो mostly या तो पास्ता you know with some bacon या मशरूम डालके पर हर चीज के अंदर मुझे bacon मशरूम बहुत अच्छा लगता है चाहे वो eggs है चाहे पास्ता है और even rice you know risotto or something that I make उसके अंदर भी डाल देती हूँ so that's like the most easy thing for me to do yeah there's one more there's one more Hi, Chitrangida. I want to ask you what made you to do this show in spite of your busy schedules in films? I guess this is your second TV show. So what really inspired you to do this show? Actually, I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show. I didn't know that I wanted to do this show कुकिंग शो पहले नहीं किया है और जिस तरह का ये कॉन्सेप्ट था ये बहुत अलग था टॉप शेफ की मैं आई आई थिंक बहुत सारे और यू नो वी ऑल फैंस एंड वो सेम कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एक्स एंड जो कि यू नो चैनल है जो हमेशा से दिखाता आया है टॉप शेफ दे वांटेड टू डू इन इन इंडिया विद इंडियन शेफ्स एंड आई थॉट दैट वॉज वेरी एक्साइटिंग एंड मैं जज करूँगी एंड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड विटनेस की वो कुकिंग कैसे होती है आई थॉट दैट वॉज अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग आई थिंक वेरी डिफरेंट You know, usually हम और सब बहुत fashion होता है, और चीजें होती हैं, but the quality of of cooking that I got to see and the almost like art and creating it, you know, I had never witnessed anything like this. तो मेरे लिए वो बहुत exciting था, and that's why, yeah. चित्रांगदा, मेरा प्रश्न आपसे ये है कि आजकल लोग खाना बहुत कम बनाना पसंद करते हैं, ज़्यादातर बाहर से ही खाते हैं, लेकिन जब ये एक स्टडी में देखा गया कि खाना जो है वो मेंटल बहुत सपोर्ट करती है और किसी भी स्ट्रेस को भगाती है तो आप इस क्रिएटिविटी को कभी आपके साथ ऐसा हुआ कि आप बहुत स्ट्रेस हो और खाना बनाए और रिलैक्स हो गए 
एक्चुअली कभी कभी उल्टा हो जाता है यू नो आप चाहते हो कि जाके कुकिंग करो वो इतना खराब बनता है कि देन यू फील इवन वर्स दैट यू नो केक भी नहीं बना और वो राइज नहीं हुआ करेक्टली इन ऑल दैट बट आई थिंक यू राइट अगर आप कुछ अलग कुकिंग करते हैं नॉट रोज का जो आप दाल चावल बना रहे हैं कुछ अलग अलग अगर आप क्रिएट करने की कोशिश करते हैं अटैम्प्ट करते हैं डेफिनेटली आई थिंक वो बहुत ही मेडिटेटिव प्रोसेस होता है यू नो बिकॉज यू ऑल योर सेंसेज आर अलर्ट एंड यू एन्जॉइंग क्रिएटिंग समथिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो हाँ मतलब अगर कुछ नया अलग ट्राई करते हैं वो मुझे बहुत मेडिटेटिव लगता है एंड होपफुली अच्छा बन जाए तो फिर इट्स फैंटास्टिक Okay, we'll take the last question for the day. We have one right at the back. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dipali. My question is that it's a unique format. Format, like you said. Uh, what are your future plans with this? Are you going to do it every year? Is it going to be an annual event? It is to all four of you. Like your unique. Uh, like, what's the idea behind it? And uh, like, are you planning to take it? ahead with each year i'll answer that okay so, you know as i said in my initial uh, address that uh, the inspiration for food is uh, uh, you know what in actually inspired us inspiration of indians for food actually inspired us to uh, you know bring this show to uh, axn uh, yes the objective is to uh, you know various seasons of uh, this particular show and uh, uh, marriott and us have a common passion for food uh, uh, right and that that's the one which actually has helped us co-create uh, this uh, you know ultimate cook off uh, on axn and as i said earlier it is our objective to repeat this uh, for uh, you know more seasons to come so shar can i just add to that um, yes we're very excited about working with axn obviously and and putting this together we'd like to see this uh, taken forward in a big way today we operate for about 15 brands in india and as we were discussing uh, there are certain brands that suit certain kinds of food right so if you're talking about wellness uh, like the lady here just mentioned uh, there is a brand of hotel that can cater to that and maybe the idea going forward is to actually bring together this diverse portfolio that we have and sort of optimize every single brand going forward but we we're excited about this this is a very innovative way for a hotel company uh to come forward and get into the media so we're very excited to see how this how this plays out okay thank you okay, thank you thank you tushar neeraj chitrangda himanshu thank you everyone for joining us today we have lunch waiting for you in the lunch area so request everyone to proceed there please don't miss it